today we are going to do something I've been waiting ages for. So we've got about 10 hours left of daylight, which means we're going to embark on forward driving, visiting scenic coastline and magnificent beaches. It's about 40 k's down the road from here. And from what I've told, it's a place you do not want to miss. So of course, what I'm talking about is Cape Le Grand National Park. Come on, let's jump in the car, let's get going. what I read up on at Cape Le Grand National Park. This is going to be pretty spectacular. But probably, I think we should explain to you guys why we're actually driving 40 k's down the road and we're not actually staying in um, Cape Le Grand National Park because of course there are some amazing bush campsites. And that's because us being us, we haven't pre-booked anything. And who would have known, it's Esperance school holidays and everything's packed. So, Oh well, but having said that, we can't actually book anything in advance. We'd love to be one of those people, well, I know I would be, to go, I'm so organised and we plan everything, but we can't. And the reason being is the two in the back seat. Basically, we're dictated for how long we stay places according to how they're going, because obviously we don't want to push anything. So, 10 year? Uh, 10 year, yes. If GPS says turn this way, there we go, 37 k's to go. Whew. Uh, so yes, because of the kids, we can't go ahead and pre-book anything, which does leave us in a bit of an issue, especially when we get to places like Esperance that we knew were going to be absolutely packed out. The good thing is they opened up the overflow uh, showgrounds and that's actually been a really surprise for us. Oh, they've been great. <laughs> so 40 bucks a night compared to like a bazillion dollars for the caravan park. We looked at it was it was astronomical even if there were spots we it's outside our budget so these um the showgrounds they open it up once the caravan parks we could we reach capacity and apparently that's every school holidays so we've heard or at least the ones over uh christmas and yep yeah, that long school holidays in so 40 bucks a night gives you a lovely patch of bright green grass the kids have been loving playing on the oval that we've parked next to the showers and loo block they're the best that we've seen so compared to all the caravan parks we stayed at so far they're, they're spotless like really really impressed so thanks Es esperance council for putting that one on of course we would have loved to have free camped it but um they have put a ban on that everywhere and I think for about 50 k's out of Esperance there are no free campsites and the reason being is look the council have told us or of the signs that you see around the place they just can't afford to keep picking up after everyone else so I guess it proves the point again please if you go camping pick up your rubbish because we don't want any more of these spots taken away from yeah. us so it, yep just do the right thing it's not that hard so anyway we're heading down the road here Let's go check out Cape Le Grand National Park. Let the tires down, do some forward driving, find the beaches when we get there. Let's go. Okay, so we're just in a little bit of a lineup here to get into Cape Le Grand. We tried to get a pass, or pay for a pass to get in here in Esperance, but you can't do that. So all passes are obtained here at the entrance to the park. So that's what we're doing at the moment, just lining up and waiting for our turn to get our pass to get in. The way in it's spectacular there's all these like big mountains i think they call them granite outcrops or something i read in the instruction in the um, information they gave us on the entrance but it's amazing like, they're really tall there is a walk that i'd love to do but we'll see how enthusiastic everyone else gets now you can see them up close <laughs> it's a long way to the top Not a bad view. What a beautiful beach.
lads, what do you think of this beach? Number one. Number one beach today. Yeah. Is it good? Alex and I are just chilling out in the car. One thing's for sure, this whole area here at Great Grand National Park is beautiful. It's really, really amazing. But I did not expect this many people. Like, it's absolutely packed and yeah, it's silly me. I should have because of the fact Mommy. that um, it's school holidays, everything else is booked out. We knew the campsites were booked out, but like along here on the beach, there's people beach everywhere. Color. Can I have a orange pen, please, Alex? Orange, dark orange. So Alex and I are just sitting here in the car, just chilling, just relaxing, yes. getting away from all the craziness for a bit. And then hopefully we'll be able to do the four wheel drive track shortly, depending on how everyone's feeling. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. Yes, it's scenic driving. Check out the color of that water. Taking a photo back there, Alex. Well, so far, four-wheel drive tracks have been um, non-existent. And the one we did find was actually a walking trail. It goes for 20Ks and that's just not what we're going to be doing. It's <laughs> not happening today. <laughs> Now we've got to find the track to the beach. Whoa, look, Alex. We can. We just made it. We did just make it. Oh, there you go. See where we're going. I should. How are you going, Alex? How did Mama, Mama John build a field? <laughs> so once again we've given up on the four wheel driving idea, found ourselves another nice secluded beach. This one's called Thistle Beach and for once it's actually not that busy. But there's something about this Western Australia fan, it's just really really bizarre. Look, I've got to show you guys, have a look at this. Now, when you dig and you touch it, it just, it, like, it's squeaky. I don't know, you're saying it's a bit when like, you, um, when you touch it, it's not, it's not a stick. No, it doesn't stick to you. It's, it's like, like um, icing, sugar. icing sugar. That's it. It's really, it's really bizarre. And for somebody who doesn't like sand, it feels fine. <laughs> but it looks really, really cool. Um, guys, there's another wave coming. Oh, no, I think we're good here. We're making our swimming pool. We're going to make a swimming pool. We're going to keep checking out Thistle Beach. Oh, there's another one. I think we need to choose a different spot for a sandcastle building. <laughs> Alright, we're going to keep checking out this spot next and then see what else Kate Legrand National Park has to offer. trek to get to and from a beach. It's up the side of a, a rock, a big granite rock. 
It's really interesting, but it's a bit more challenging for the little ones. But have a look at this. Once again, the view. Pretty amazing. The big volcano. It looks like it. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the landscape was spectacular. Yeah, yeah, that's a great place. It, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. Those beaches are bright blue, like the pictures that you see, absolutely is exactly that. Yeah, turquoise beaches, deep blue ocean, um, and the whitest of white sands you've seen. Which sound weird when you walk on them. <laughs> it's weird. But I must admit, it wasn't what I was expecting. Like, I was expecting a lot more four wheel drive, I was expecting a lot more middle of nowhere ish, but it, it appeared that I reckon all of Esperance and all of probably the Perth area come to Cape Le Grand National Park, and absolutely you can see why. It, it is spectacular. It's just a personal preference that I like going to places that are a bit more probably off the beaten track, a little bit um, less busy, but you know. Nonetheless, it was a, it was a beautiful spot. Highly, highly recommended. So we've got 40 minutes drive back to our campsite now. We'll see if everyone either stays awake or what happens back there. But um, it was a bit of a long day visiting beaches because why not? Like... Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. And next time, let's aim for some more four wheel driving, shall we? <laughs> Who knows what we're going to get up to. We'll see you there. <laughs> see ya.